Hey guys, welcome to day two of Vlogmas. And right now, I am fresh out the shower. I'm hungry though. I have not eaten since this morning, and I am getting my day started a little late as far as filming because I've just been trying to get my life together, packing all that good jazz, and I need to put on some deodorant. I use the Secret uh, Powder Fresh Spray deodorant. I like this stuff, but when you really doing some physical, like that physical, this is not gonna hold you, boo. So if you doing like a little light work, then it'll hold you. But if you physical, physical, no man. I like to shake it up a little bit before I spray it on my armpits. God, one of the reasons why I do like to use this is because it doesn't leave any residue residue it doesn't leave any residue on your armpits which i really like so it's okay i would have highly highly recommend it but if you just like in a little fix it'll do the job i'm just gonna do my skin here i feel like i've been in my bonnet all day which i really have been so before i take off my scarf i'm gonna wash my face and you guys have seen me talk about this product in another skincare video of mine because when am i not making skincare videos right this is just a clean b face wash it's literally almost out so i have to like do it a little ghetto but you gotta do what you gotta do so i'm just gonna wash my face with this Jesus Christ. So now that my face is washed, I like to go in with my toner. This is the X Solution Fluid Moisturizing Toner. Love, love, love this stuff. I've used their moisturizer. I used it like years ago, but I never just got back around to purchasing it. But I've been trying out this toner for a couple months and I love it. It's very hydrating on the skin and it really does minimize your pores, but it also gives you a very healthy glow. This is some good, there's some good stuff right here, man. So normally after my toner, I go in with my serum. This is just from Sephora. 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 This is literally like crack for my skin. My skin loves this stuff. It has a lot of vitamins and it really soaks into the skin. And what I like about it is it's not oily, it's not greasy. You're not gonna look shiny afterwards. It just melts into the skin which is good. And then I like to put my eye cream on. This is the Ola Hendrix Banana Bright Eye Cream and I literally have nothing in here, but I love this stuff. It's so, so good. I don't have bags under my eyes or discoloration, but I just like to use this stuff to prevent it. And I've been using it for a long time as well and I feel like it does a really good job with making me look more awake. Plus I'm going to work. So, I <laughs> can't be looking dead at work, baby. We need the shmoney. We need the shmoney. And then I go in with my glow stick sunscreen. This has SPF 50 in it. You honestly don't need that much, but protection is protection, boo. And you're gonna feel oily when you put this on, but once it absorbs into your skin, you'll be good. So I like to really get that in there. Cause when, when I started using sunscreen in college, I was really using it heavy on my freshman year. I noticed a big difference in my skin because obviously I'm walking a lot, I'm walking in the sun a lot, and I wanted to protect my skin the best. I knew how, so I did a lot of research, and I've really been loving their Super Goop product. I had another one which had SPF 40 in it, which was like a little sample, and I also have the spray. This is a setting mist, and it has SPF 50 in it this is how i kind of found out about it because it had like another product in here that i wanted to try so i was just like uh, let me give the sunscreen little things a go and i've been in love ever since and then we're going to put on our moisturizer now this is the sephora collection super hydrating all day hydrating moisturizer and one the only thing about this is it's super liquidy super liquidy and you honestly don't need that much but it just looks like that and i just moisturize it into my skin and this is honestly 
all that I do for my skincare routine. This works for me so, so well. I'm probably not gonna switch it up anytime soon. I have a nighttime routine, but this is just what I do for in the morning or whenever I'm getting dressed. And sometimes if I wanna be real extra and bourgeois, you know, I get my jade roller just to really melt all the products together and just the cooling sensation is just nice. So now that that is all done, I'm going to unwrap my hair because you can't be going to work with a scarf on. I did that once, but it was like early in the morning and it was okay. So I wrap my hair at night when my hair is pressed. And for my concert, I really want to like do some crinkles in my hair. I feel like that would be super cute, super, super cute. But I don't know, I don't have a crinkler, but I can also like finesse it with like pinning it overnight and doing it that way. So once I'm done with wrapping, well, once the hair is like out and I took my pins out, I just brush it all out like that. See, see that beautiful bounce? I bounce that the booty like a basketball. And you know what's funny? As I talk like this, a lot of people want hair videos from me and I get it, like I do. I, I empathize with you all. But I'm just not good at them. I'm just not good at them. Like back in the Disney when I really had to do my own hair, I was doing it, boo, I was doing it. But now that I get it done so much, I just feel like I've lost my touch. And that's what happens. You lose your touch. And I've lost it. So this is just my hair. Cause on the road, I'm going to wrap this bad boy back up because it don't need to be out. It needs to be fresh. I'm going to wrap it back up tonight when I get home. And that's just gonna be that. Okay, so I was just kind of tired of being in my bathroom. So we're gonna take a break from that. But y'all, quick little update. I changed the bag that I was wearing. So I'm taking a suitcase because I have a lot of shit, honestly. And I packed pretty much all my clothes. I need to put in my shoes. I have my sock. Well, these are like my holiday socks. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? They're pink with like <laughs> snowflakes on them. I have my belt. Um, I also have my cute little charge it pouch. This really comes in handy. I have my taser because ain't nobody pulling up on me. Ain't nobody pulling up on me. P pull up up if you want to then i have some extra tops that i want to pack in here but i'm also probably going to have to put some things in my little bag that i'm going to carry in the car with me what else like what else i need to put some socks on and some shoes on y'all i am starving and there's nothing to eat oh ramen noodles i have ramen noodles somebody said they wanted to hang out with me and that's why he he sounded like you because that's your favorite thing to say What's up, Aaron? So guys, I just walked in the closet and we have people on the floor. And we have some booty crack. Yeah. And that's okay. <laughs> you may not. Ew, ew. <laughs> that's so, so that's what's going on. Oh, um, Aaron, I put some um jumper cables in your truck. Oh, I thought you was gonna some gas. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> now they're in a back in that little apartment thing. Yes, the thing that yes. you broke. And then <laughs> <laughs> it's baby powder. So I can't be fooled up with them. I'm gonna get me some ramen. Y'all, <laughs> my dog broke his dog thing, like dog collar, because we have an electric doggy door, and he's outside looking pitiful. Hi, Diesel. Hi, baby. Welcome to my kitchen. I am a chef. I'm about to whip me some ramen noodles up right now. So if you ain't messing with the OG ramen noodles, which is the chicken, the the chicken, you need to get your life together. I do go to um, World Market sometimes to get like the bougie kind of like spicy different ramen noodles, but uh, cha. And the noodles are cooking. So I'm just gonna throw some garlic, salt in there, and some pepper. I used to have that um that seasoning, but my nana came here for Thanksgiving and moved everything. So now I don't know what it is. Plus everything's everything is in a jar and some of them are labeled. So 
So, yeah. Yeah. So I like to pour the water out. I'm going to add my seasoning. Because this is some cheap ramen. I got this from the Jolla General right up the street from my house. And the other day when I had it, baby, I couldn't even taste the seasoning. So the less water, the better. And they're done. So I'm just going to eat. What time is it? It's 3.23. So I'm just gonna eat this, put on my shoes, put on my jacket, and then it'll be time for me to go. It's time for me to go. I'm gonna eat at the table like a civilized woman, the civilized woman that I am. So good. This could be like an ASMR or a mukbang, but it's not. I love Lucy, it's a classic for one. I'm watching like their last season that they had before it went off. Or before like her and her husband got a divorce or whatever, I don't know, I don't know. But I have nothing else to watch. I don't watch Divorce Court. I don't watch All My Lynn Housewives. I need some new stuff. I'm waiting for, what is it? You, season two to come out. I could watch um, 13 Reasons Why, but I just can't get into it like the first season okay i was into it into it into it boom no i think they on their third season i think they on their third season because i don't know because y'all look i don't know because i didn't watch the ending of one of them i don't even know how many seasons out because i ain't even been keeping up with it like that but um i should i could watch that i might watch that on the road just to keep me entertained what else I could, oh, y'all should check out Dollface. It's on Hulu. If you got Hulu, check it out. I think it's so good. Since Disney Plus, or my uncle gave me his account, my, baby, why was I crying during Pinocchio? Who was crying during Pinocchio? Baby, I was crying through Dumbo, like, and at that time, it was at Tom and Muffy, if you feel what I'm saying. And I was just bawling my eyes out like I ain't never seen these movies before. And I was just like, Aaron. Baby, what is we doing? But I'm finna eat, y'all. I'm finna eat the rest of my food and stop talking to y'all. All right. Dress to go to work. Uh, where are my shoes? Oh, they're in the bathroom. But got my purse. Got my purse, got all my things that I need. I think my phone is in the bathroom too. But y'all, I know y'all gonna see me in this sweater a lot. First of all, mind your business. Second of all, it's my favorite sweater because it's just like super cash, super comfortable. I'm tired of y'all seeing my closet. Mind your business. Mind it. Mind yours. I'm gonna finish packing when I get home. I just have some things to put in my suitcase, my shoes. I need to pack my jewelry and some more hair stuff. And I need to pack my brushes. But honestly, I'm about 75% there. I'm about to go to work and get this money, sis. So y'all, I'm back home and I got me some Chick-fil-A. Literally, literally, I was in the McDonald's line to get some food and my mom called me and was just like, don't pick nothing up, dad got you some food. So, baby, boop, I win. I'm not gonna eat on camera again because this ain't no, this ain't no mukbang video, boo. This ain't, I'm gonna eat my Chick-fil-A and I'm gonna finish packing because we gonna leave early, early, early in the morning. And yes, so catch y'all in the next scene. <laughs> it is 9.26. And I need to go to bed because we're getting up super early and I just want to make sure my life is together. While I was off camera, I cleaned my bathroom, finished packing my suitcase, but I could only fit one pair of shoes in here because I packed so many freaking clothes. And I told myself I was gonna bring two pairs of shoes, but then I forgot I need heels when I go to church. So now I have approximately four pairs of shoes, I think. Yeah, because I decided to bring some booties just in case I wanted to be a little spicy, a little different, because I just wanna make all these looks. And I also wrap my hair, if you can tell. I'm just tired and I'm getting hot. Um. And I just feel like nothing is done. Like, bathroom is looking awesome, but everything else is looking like how it looks. 
too much stuff. Just too much stuff, y'all. Too much stuff. I'm sorry, I'm just rambling. I'm just ranting. I'm tired. I'm probably going to end the day two vlogmas here. I know it wasn't that exciting. I'm so sorry, but tomorrow we will be on the road, so stay tuned for that because that's going to be an adventure in itself. And yeah. Pray for me. Wish me luck. I'll see you guys on day three of vlogmas.